Welcome to LED, the LEGO Education Department. Today I present an important event in American civil rights, the murder of Vincent Chin. Vincent lived in Detroit, a center of the automotive industry. During the 1970s, due to the oil embargo by OPEC, American auto wasn't doing very well. Many people turned to Japanese cars for their fuel efficiency. This led to anti-Japanese sentiments spread by politicians to support American industries, causing harassment, violence, and vandalism. Donald Evans, a foreman at Chrysler, and his stepson Michael Nitz, who was just laid off, would meet Vincent and his friends celebrating his marriage next week. The exact details are unknown, but Evans would curse out Vincent, blaming him for Nitz being out of a job, then chase him down with a baseball bat, beating Vincent's skull in. The family and friends of Vincent weren't told about the trial, therefore there was no prosecutor. Evans' lawyer pleaded for a manslaughter case and neither man was sent to jail. This and the fact that Vincent was Chinese, not Japanese, outraged the Detroit Asian American community. Asian Americans before didn't speak about race or make a big deal in protest. Vincent's death would change this. Vincent's mother, Lily Chin, would help found the American Citizens for Justice, or ACJ, who would work with multiple civil rights groups sparking a nationwide movement. The attention the movement got would get a federal case of Evans killed because of racism. Evans was convicted guilty, being the first time an Asian American would be protected by a civil rights law. However, due to the publicity of the case, a second trial was held and Evans was found not guilty. Despite this, the ultimate impact of Vincent's death was Asian Americans would never be silent about their civil rights again. Today, he is referenced in many civil rights cases involving Asian Americans. Debates if jail was correct justice or did justice come from the impact he had. With Asian American hate once again rising due to the pandemic, we see how there is not silence and the fight against discrimination is loud and clear. And Vincent's name is spoken once again. Thank you for coming to my lead talk.